All right, so with the release of the all new DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I know a lot of people have been asking, is it worth getting if I have something like the Action 4, the GoPro Hero 12, do I really need the Pocket 3? And my short answer is yes, you have to have the Pocket 3 in order for you to get any type of, no, I'm just joking. So that's the thing. These cameras are all capable of capturing amazing footage. And I've said this previously in my videos that these cameras, while they can all do very similar things, so the way they capture, the settings that they have, the quality are very similar. Even something like this, the Insta360 X3 can do a lot of similar things that these cameras can do. In my opinion, they're all very high quality cameras, but they also sit in different lanes when it comes to camera types and especially use cases. So in this video, I do wanna go over those pros and cons of why you might want a, maybe a pocket over an action camera and why you might want an action camera over the pocket. So first and foremost, let's talk about vlogging. Now, if you're buying a camera just for vlogging, any one of these cameras are gonna do really, really well. The action cameras have a little bit wider field of view. So if you are holding the camera out here, you are gonna see and get a lot more in your video when you are out there vlogging. The Pocket 3, however, has a little bit more narrow of a field of view, but you're also gonna get high quality types of vlogs out of this camera. So when it comes down to just vlogging alone, any one of these cameras will work fine. All right, so this is the view and the audio coming from the DJI Action 4. Like I mentioned, these action cameras are really good for vlogging. All right, switching over to the GoPro Hero 12, we are in linear linear mode as far as field of view goes. How does the audio sound? This is coming from the GoPro Hero 12. And right now we are shooting 4K 30. We're shooting 4K 30 on all of the cameras. I do have face tracking on. So even if I'm moving a little bit, you might see the camera move with me. The next pro of an action camera over the Pocket 3 is gonna be, like I said, the wider field of view. These are action cameras, which means they are meant to somewhat be closer to an object or get close to an object but still have an extremely wide field of view in order for you to capture that action. So if you're shooting people, shooting skateboarders, putting this on your helmet, you want that POV shot, these action cameras have extremely wide field of views and that's what you're gonna want. That's something you don't really do on a pocket. Even though they offer a wide lens or an adapter on the pocket, it's just not wide enough to capture what these guys capture. The next reason why you might want an action camera over the pocket is because of the focus. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times when you're out there shooting, you don't wanna deal with focus. You just want everything to be in focus. And that's what these cameras are really good at. They just pretty much keep an infinite focus as long as you're a little bit further away from a subject you don't want to be too too close but once you're away from a subject almost everything in the shot for the most part it will be in focus and that makes it really simple for a standard user to just pick it up hit record and point it at a subject and know that hopefully or ideally everything should be in focus now that's a pro and a con and we'll talk about some of the pros of course of the pocket 3 over the action cameras when it comes down to focus and the next pro of action cameras over the pocket is that it's an action camera these are all weather these can go in the ocean in the water these can get dirty you don't worry about these types of cameras when you're out there shooting the main reason why i'll always have one of these in my back pocket especially when i'm out there with my family is because i just don't worry about it you throw it in your pocket you're not worried about a mechanical gimbal you're not worrying about something breaking you just toss this in your pocket and when you want to record something take it out hit record and and you know you'll capture high quality videos out of these action cameras. And finally, we'll talk about mounting action cameras. So if you're the type to use your camera in multiple scenarios where you wanna vlog with it, then you wanna put it onto something like this. You wanna mount it to your helmet. You wanna put it onto a chesty. A bunch of those different things that you wanna do quickly, you can do those with these action cameras, especially with the magnetic mounts that the DJI Action Series has. I also put one on here on the GoPro so I can actually use the DJI mounts. Yes, DJI does have these adapters where you're able to put the pocket into a mount and then use the two prong kind of GoPro style mounts. You're able to do that. You can still hook this up, but it's just really not the same. It's not the same as using an action camera. You're still dealing with, like I said, the mechanical gimbal, a little bit more fragile. And if you are gonna be put this thing onto a bike and things like that, you're gonna hit that gimbal limit a lot more than these. Now, those are just some of the pros of an action camera. There's definitely a ton more other things that we could talk about, but I just wanted to talk to you about more of just what I felt like were some of the most important ones to consider if you are looking at these cameras. Next, let's jump into all the pros of the DJI Pocket 3 and why you might want this over and action camera. First thing we'll talk about is sensor size and image quality. Now the Pocket does come in at a one inch sensor, a much larger sensor 
than these action cameras here. And when you have a larger sensor, you normally will have higher quality video, especially when you're talking about low light scenarios. Action cameras in general just don't perform that well in low light. And comparing these two actually, the Action 4 does a lot better than the GoPro, but when you're talking about low light out of these three, the Pocket 3 does a lot better than both of these. Now, next reason why I will pick up the Pocket over the action cameras, especially when it comes down to that focus, which we talked about earlier, you do have a lot more focus options with the Pocket. Now, if you don't want to deal with the focus, like I mentioned, the action cameras work well. However, when you deal with focus and bokeh or that blur effect from the background blur, and then depth of field does put a lot more focus on the person, the subject, or the product that you are talking about versus having just everything in focus. The one area I like using the pocket when we're talking about those focus options is when I do a lot of product or reveal shots. And when you do lock in a focus on a area or a subject, it just has a different cinematic feel to the video. And that's something you don't necessarily get with these action cameras. Next, we'll talk about image stabilization. Now, all these cameras do really, really well when it comes down to stabilization. They're just a little bit different. Here with the Pocket 3, we have a mechanical gimbal. So the actual gimbal itself is trying to keep that camera steady. Where here, you don't have a gimbal. You don't have that mechanical gimbal. Everything is done internally through the software with electronic image stabilization. Now the pro of the EIS or electronic stabilization is that you don't deal with a mechanical gimbal. You don't deal with the hardware that's actually keeping the footage stable, which again, like I talked about earlier, makes it easier for a lot of people because I'm not dealing with anything. I can have stable footage and I can just toss this in my pocket. I'm not worried about breaking anything. A lot of times when you record in low light scenarios with action cameras, you will see a kind of a ghosting or shadow effect. And that's the electronic image stabilization trying to compensate for that low light. Where here, you don't have that. You don't have the EIS working. The next big positive of the pocket is also the ability to have things like active track. So if you want to actually put this on the table and record something, record a person, record myself vlogging, you can now face track or you can subject track and you, the camera will now follow that person around or follow that subject around. The action cameras are just stationary, which means whatever you're shooting, whatever it's shooting, that's about it. You're not able to adjust the camera if it is positioned in a location. And finally, we'll talk about audio integration. Now the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, if you get the crater combo, comes with this right here, the DJI mic, and you don't have to plug in any receivers now to the pocket itself. The receiver of this mic is actually built into the camera, into the handle, so you don't have any extra modules to hook up to it. So if you were out there, and like I mentioned, if you're a solo content creator and you wanted to have really crispy audio, set your camera up or set the pocket up somewhere and have really good audio at a distance, it's really easy to do that with the Pocket 3. Now with something like the Action 4, you're gonna wanna hook up something like this, which is the DJI mic system, where you hook up the USB-C port, to the side. And then of course you can use these wireless transmitters to transmit the audio very similar. And of course GoPro has their own system. They have the mod where you actually put a mod around the GoPro as well as the uh, audio adapter. Hopefully you guys got some value of just me explaining how I look at these cameras. Of course, if you are interested in picking up, you know, one of these cameras, I do have side-by-side -side comparisons between the Action 4, GoPro Hero 12. And in this video, I just barely scratched the surface of the pros of this camera right here. So if you guys wanna see a full review on it, make sure you guys check out this video above as well as down below in the video description. And also if you have something like the Pocket 1 or 2 and you're thinking about upgrading, I have another video for that one listed right over here.